Guys, we did a thing. We got puppies. Oh. I don't trust her. Guys, we did a thing. We got puppies. What? Are you invisible? Oh, oh, we had an, we had we had an incident in it's, dancing. It's just my baby tooth. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. Get the puppies, Noah. Ah! <laughs> Let's go get them. Let's go get them. We got well, we didn't get lost, but we've passed it, so we're 20 minutes late. We got a sleeping child. <laughs> we did get lost. We just went streaming right past it. <laughs> we could have easily just left it till tomorrow, but no, no. These puppies need to come home. They know who owns them now. <laughs> they're, part, they're part of our family now. <laughs> we lost our size. <laughs> Watch in case she's not going to like them. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Did you like it? So, first few minutes in the new home, and the puppies are asleep because it's so late. Look at them, look at the beautiful little faces. So, this is a little girl, this is a little boy. Oh, I can't believe that we're, we've got dogs. I really can't. Have. Who's that, Ula? That's new friends. I don't think she's bothered to be honest. They're not. We're just sleeping right now, so she doesn't care. It's once they're moving, she's probably gonna be like, You're in my house. Although she's used to dogs, so I don't think. Yes, come here, baby. Come here. Come here, baby kitty. No, only on your terms, yeah? This will be puppy's first time outside. Day number one, or trip one, exploring number one. I think this one's. Can't even see the other one, yeah. No, I think she's falling asleep. I think she's fed. Are you sleeping on no? No, they're gonna go nuts. They're gonna love I the smells. You think so? Well, I, th I think. Well, they'll be timid to start with. They'll be like, oh no, what's going on? Are you going on the grass or? Yeah, I think the grass. Yeah, yeah. yeah they want to put them on the concrete. Here we go. Here we go. Listen. 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 Oh. Oh, somebody's eating something. Oh, she's a bit, she's a bit thingy about this. Oh, he's off. I know, they like he's swapped trolls. What was that? What's this? What's this? and welcome to the new video on this channel and as per the title you can probably see and read that we got not one but two puppies so as you can tell the footage you've just seen and the footage you see now our little puppies are not so little anymore in fact they're about six months old now and licking my hand because they just got treats okay i'll just let them lick my hand i guess i really don't like when dogs lick hands or feet or anything really. Ew, you're gonna hear the licking sounds and they're horrible. So I really wanted to make this video before they get too big and to actually introduce them to this channel because we got them quite a few months ago and they did grow quite a bit. So they are six months old and maybe I should introduce them. So this is Peanut, our baby boy who's very calm, very cuddly and just a big chunky boy. And the uh, rascal over here is Pudin. That's his sister. So we've got two miniature schnauzers and let me tell you, we did not plan on this breed. We did not plan on getting a dog or, well, let me just tell you how it was. 
because if you because if anybody knows us we were always more of cat people and we have as our sphinx cat i actually already filmed this video uh, and our cat was here all i was here with the puppies with me but i didn't like the footage i didn't like it was very rushed i didn't even use a tripod and i was not happy with it so i'm filming it again but yeah so i mean the main reason why we never decided to have a dog or dogs was because we never had a garden big enough we have lived in this house for over three years now and we have a really decent sized garden so it's perfect when you know like with kids if he if they don't fancy going on a walk or they're sleeping you can just let the dog go in the garden so that's really handy it's also nice for the kids to play with the dog outside and stuff you know so i mean for past three years we've been just so busy with work and children and everything and we were just not ready for a dog it was just too much responsibility and the dog wouldn't get enough attention and to be honest this decision was very spontaneous there were so many factors that played towards me being like darren do you think we should get a dog and that's weird coming from me because again it's not that i'm more of a cat person than a dog person i'm not the person that as i walk by somebody with a dog i'll stop and be like oh my god let me pet it like no like it's a cute dog but i don't need to touch people's dogs darren on the other hand was raised in a house with a lot a lot of animals there's always dogs and cats around i had a dog for a very brief time when I was little, when I was like eight or something, but we couldn't keep him for too, too long because he was a rescue and he was just not doing well in a flat. Pudin, that's my pile of washing, come here. So I mean, I don't know, I feel like it's almost like with children, you just kind of feel like this is, this is it, this is now, like I, I'm ready for a dog. And it is a very big decision and you do need to think about it and make sure that you're gonna give them all your time. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you well, you need to tick off the list to be ready for a dog. I think everybody knows. It was a very spontaneous decision in, in our case in terms of like, okay, it's now. We've already spoke about dogs so many times, but I was like, you know what? It's now. As for the breed, why did we not rescue a dog? It's such a taboo topic of rescuing pets rather than buying them from the breeders. I understand that and I did look at rescues. We didn't decide to go and rescue a dog and I don't think we would be able to because we've got children. We've got a 10 year old and a four year old. Our four year old is a boy who's a very boy boy we like to say. He's just crazy, a typical like crazy boy that likes to shoot nerf guns and pretend he's Batman on everyday basis. That would not mix well with the dog that's been rescued from probably horrible background. I've also found out that uh, a lot of rescue places will not let you rescue a dog if you have kids because of that reason, because the dog and the child might not, not get along, as simple as that. So to be honest, those little guys were available on one of the sites and we decided just to go have a look. It was a local guy who ended up being so lovely. The whole family was so nice. They are fully registered miniature schnauzers. We got all the paperwork uh, with all the generations back and everything. So this is all legit. Guy, I can tell you, he barely made any money from selling them because uh, by the time you pay for all the certificates and the jobs and the care for the puppy and registering them, for the price he was selling them, you could tell he was not interested in the money. He also said that this is the first and last letter for the mother. I'm not sure if he meant the last for like a season or two. As silly as it might sound, it's not one of those places when you see that people just breed an animal continuously. I'm on so many pages with Sphinx cats and I do see that they breed them so much the same cat is being bred as soon as she can and that's not fair and it's ridiculous and we are gonna play now yes so i mean we just went for a look i never thought we would have miniature schnauzers we both like so many different breeds i don't have favorites i did always want i'm saying want because I'm, I'm not desperate but as much as i love sphinx the naked cats i also love chinese crescent dogs they're amazing but i would i would not be able are you not gonna sit with me i would not be able to get one anywhere here darren wanted a dash hound a miniature one specifically i love so many big breeds dalmatians uh, alaskan alaskan malamutes huskies but we could not have big dogs. We didn't want big dogs because we want them to be able to fit in the car with us. We want them to be on the sofa with us and not take too much space. <laughs> Long story short, we went there and Darren had enough money to buy two. They weren't ready at the time and literally two days later when we spoke to the guy all of them were bought there was seven puppies he actually got in trouble from one of people that were trying to buy it that he was selling them too cheap and that they should be twice the price but we ended up with two and at first i was a bit like 
it's a crazy idea but I'm not shocked because that's just what something Darren would do <laughs> it's been amazing because they're never lonely if we're not home or nighttime they are not lonely they just play together they're so happy I've never heard anybody cry they've obviously not missed mom so much because they've been together smelling each other as you can see they get along very well don't bite me I am not playing with you I'm not playing with you they've had their second haircut already it's more of a full groom the lady, I did think she was gonna leave a bit of a skirt, uh, more hair on the feet, but it's okay because I mean it's gonna grow out and it actually keeps them very clean when they're in the garden and on the walks. Another thing is that this breed, when, when I just seen the ad, I started researching and I knew about this breed, but I never thought like, oh, they actually don't lose so much hair. And that's such a big thing because I did not want a dog and we both didn't want a dog that would cast so much hair. We really don't like that. That's also the reason why we went for the Sphinx cat. And yeah, we've had them a few months and there's no hair, to be honest. Like obviously we brushed them or we did when they had longer hair. You are biting me. You're biting me, not your sister. <laughs> so the so the hair thing, amazing. They're just adorable. They look like little granddads. Can you show yourself? They just look like little granddads with their little mustaches and the little little eyebrows. They're just look adorable. They're really good dogs. They're really good dogs. They're apparently one of the smartest breeds that you can teach things very quickly. They already know a few commands, and I was really pleasantly surprised how quickly they realized their names. Like they, they you very quickly realize that you are our little Buddhist. Pudding as in like from Harley Quinn, so no G at the end. They are very hyper right now because they just came back from outside and they're very excited, but they're very chill. Like by the time eight o'clock comes, they will just cuddle up on the sofa. Peanut especially, you can literally hold him like this and rub his belly and he will just chill. The whole puppy chewing thing is not happening at home. I mean, they've got plenty of toys here, but they're not interested because they chew on each other or on the sticks outside. So we've really not had an issue. I think they only attacked like a cat tree, the cat scratching tree because they were in that room when we left the house, so it's really not a big of a deal. No shoes were harmed, no furniture was harmed. So they're really such good dogs, and I just, some, I still can't believe that we have dogs. Like, I really never thought of dogs, like, in our house, because also this year we decided to travel quite a bit. We've already been on three trips in the past few months. Luckily, we have Darren's sister, who's always up for looking after them. She's house-sitting and then looking after the animals. So that's a very trusted person that, you know, is taking care of the animals so they're not left alone. Even now, I'm like, I have dogs. I really did not think that we would ever, that I would ever make a decision to have one because Darren's gonna up for any animal I think but it's just so exciting and um, you're probably gonna see them in so many videos now as I said we got them quite a few months back and you would have seen that in the footage in the beginning but it just took me so long to do this video because we've been traveling and just kind of settling down with them but they're so good like they're toilet trained already we need to work on the walking skills because they spend so much time in the garden they need to be slightly better at walks but they're not too bad like i really thought it was gonna be way worse so yeah we've got two miniature schnauzers in the house uh we decided it's funny how you like decide like we don't want any more children we're happy with two but the kids are growing up they're being more you know they can take care of themselves more like they can make their own breakfast and stuff so let's take more responsibility and have some dogs <laughs> but no I'm, I'm happy it's they really like complete our family um with our cat we've got bunnies too knowing what i know now and how we have them i would go for miniature schnauzers again i really as i said um that's a breed that we don't really see much around here like even my YouTube new puppy videos to see other people's puppy videos, I noticed that a lot of them were like Labradors, Golden Retrievers, the big dogs and or like Chihuahuas. But miniature schnauzers, what, are they not trendy enough? Because I think they're just adorable. Oh, we're gonna play. Now I understand when people watch dogs and they're like, they're so cute, my baby. So yeah, so that's it for this video. If you have a dog, let me know what kind of dog do you have. I mean, we were never bothered about the breed or if they're registered or not. It just kind of all happened to fall in place. I was more than happy to have, you know, to rescue a mixed breed or whatever. But I'm so happy we've got them. They really just fit well within our family. So if you've watched this video till the end, thank you so much. Thank you on behalf of my little papa boogies. And we'll see you in the next one. It'll be amazing if you subscribe too. If you didn't do so yet, follow us on our social media and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!